We are back for some more F1 Manager 23 today, round three, the Miami Grand Prix. Let's just have a quick look at some things that I've done coming up to this race weekend. So we have actually got, and I haven't actually put them on the car yet, so that is something I need to do before we start this event, but I've, I've made a bunch more parts. So I've got some research for a front wing and a rear wing going on, manufacturing side pods and suspension. Um, maybe actually we don't, let's just have a look. I can't remember if we did quite okay no never mind we haven't actually finished manufacturing any of our new parts yet but um next car part three of oh maybe we do have the side pods wait a minute let's have a look at that we do okay so i'm gonna have to go through that but basically yeah we've we've um done a bunch of uh got a bunch of things so i think we've got side pods we've got suspension that we can put on the car now i don't think I don't think there's anything more. I think that's all we got going on at the moment. We are designing a new front wing and rear wing. Um, there may have been an, oh no, because I, yeah, I need factory level two to um, to build more. So that's all we could do at the moment. And I don't have enough money. As you can see, we've spent a lot of money. We only have 3.3 .3 million left because I spent quite a bit of money <laughs> doing upgrades. Um, other than that, yeah, not really a whole lot going on. Uh, we're just going to go into our qualifying session after I simulate practice. So let's go. All right, we're now ready to go for qualifying. We've got the new parts on the cars, new side pods, new suspension on both cars. As you can see, uh, we've got 68% and 67% car setups. So that's not too bad. Would have been better if I just, you know, went through uh, qualifying on my own, but um, I'm just gonna simulate through it for this because, you know, this is, I just, I don't wanna spend the time messing around with that for this, um, so. We're going to go into qualifying now. We're going to manage Q1, see what our drivers can do. All right, so I sent Alonso out for a second flying lap. He's in P12. He should be safe, but I sent him out for another one just in case. Verstappen actually half a second quicker than Alonso on his first run, so he should be fine. And yeah, I think Alonso is going to be fine as well. Not even sure if he's really improving on this lap. He crosses the line. He didn't improve. Oh, no, he did slightly improve, but not improve position. I think uh, P12... Most people behind him have finished anyway, so I think it's fair to say they're both safe here. Yep, so both drivers easily through to Q2. Max in P9, they were the 129.1. Alonso in P12 with the 129.4. So Verstappen looking like the quicker of the two at the moment, which is um, the opposite of what we've seen for the last two rounds in qualifying. So um, what have we got? We've got both stakes, both McLarens out in Q1 and Oscar Piastri in the Alpha Tauri slash RB as well. Both Williams through, which is good to see. So um, yeah, let's see what Q2 has in store. All right, just doing another flying lap for Q2 as well with both drivers. They're sitting P8 and P9, so in the top 10 at the moment, but especially the two Mercedes, currently P12 and 13, I expect them to jump up um, now. Verstappen here is the driver ahead with both my drivers. He is not improving on this lap. Alonso though does seem to be improving a little bit. So let's uh, let's see what he's going to do here. Verstappen had a little bit of traffic with a Williams up ahead of him at the start of the lap um, through the twisty kind of first sector. So that lost him a bit of time there, I think. Alonso is doing better though. Alonso is now P10. He is at the cutoff point. Leclerc's only gone P9. So not a super lap for the Mercedes there to be fair thought they would have been a bit better than that Perez has still got across the line I think he's just behind just behind Alonso here so Verstappen's crossed the line it looks like he hasn't improved um, Alonso is on two green sectors will he improve here he should do unless he's had a very bad final sector he crosses the line he does improve to P6 for Alonso now looking behind me Perez Probably the big one here to worry about. He goes, he doesn't make it out. Leclerc is in P11 as well. I'm pretty sure he's finished his lap. He's on an in-lap. So both Mercedes out in Q2 here. That is pretty big news. And it looks like we are through to Q3 with both our cars for the first time this season. All right, first run of flying laps coming to an end here. Alonso, the car ahead at the, at the moment, he's green through sector one, purple through sector two. Bearing in mind, we are one of, if not the first driver out on track here. As we come around the final corner here yeah, towards to the start, finish straight. He's of course gonna go P11 
P1 for now, 129.4. Verstappen's gone quicker in the middle sector, though. So he um, has gone quicker than Alonso in that sector. Uh, gr three green sectors for Alonso now, and uh, Verstappen has lost his purple middle sector. But I'd say that he's done a better purple, he's done a better middle sector than Ocon, then, who's set the fastest time so far. So that's pretty impressive. You know, Ocon in the Red Bull, the quickest car here really i mean i know they haven't won a race yet it's been russell in, in the ferrari uh winning both times so far but um yeah we'll see what Verstappen can do here i think it's going to be a better lap than alonso yes they, oh it's it's quicker than ocon Verstappen goes p1 by 16 hundredths yeah 16 hundredths of a second oh but ricardo just pips us to it by three tenths of a second so um yeah all right all right looking good so far all right, here we go. Final laps of Q or the final lap of Q3 coming our way. Verstappen, the lead car for my team at the moment, and he's got plenty of space. Uh, Alonso, let me just have a look at him. He's got an Alpha. He's got an RB in front of him. That's not ideal. Um, would really like him to get out of the way, but that's not going to happen. So that's mm, that's not great for Alonso here, having a car right in front of him. Verstappen, though. Plenty of space. We're on brand new soft tyres for this run with both cars as well to just get the most we possibly can out of this. Verstappen's already, you know, P6, not too bad away of the two. Actually, the two Ferraris are the two lead. Uh, it's currently sitting P1 and P2. So uh, Verstappen has gone green through sector one. I think Alonso has just started his lap now. Has he got that? Yes, he has got the RB in front of him, so that's not great, but we'll just have to see how that goes. Could be a poor qualifying from Alonso this time. Verstappen may finally get uh, a, a, a dub over Alonso in qualifying, but Verstappen continues on here. Two green sectors for him, so he's looking pretty good at the moment. I think Alonso is close to coming through the first sector, is he? Uh, where is Alonso? P9. There you go, yellow first sector for Alonso, so I don't think he's going to improve, I think. Having signs in front of him is screwing him over massively. Verstappen's now down to P8 with everybody improving, but where is this lap time gonna put him? It is gonna put him. Looks like still. Oh, chapter. he did not have a good final sector. Lost time in the final sector, so he's not improved. Alonso, I don't think, is gonna improve either because he's had a very poor first two. What is that? 33-4, 23-2, 33-2. 20.7, yeah, he's way down, Alonso is way down, so neither of these guys are going to improve, I might as well just fast forward this a little bit, because we're not going to have an improvement here, it's looking like P8 and P9 for my team, uh, no, it's not, because Signs, <laughs> after holding up Alonso this lap, has now also gone quicker than Alonso, so he splits the two Hasses, it's P8 and P10, for Haas. Well, it's good that we got both cars in qualifying, but I'll be honest, I was hoping for maybe a little bit more than that. Um, Verstappen was on for a better lap, and I mean, he might not have made... Well, he was only a tenth off, under a tenth off Norris, actually. So all in all, it's a good performance by Verstappen. Not great from Alonso getting screwed over a little bit by getting stuck behind signs um, in that final run. And yeah, it is George Russell, the winner of the first two races of this season on pole position. Esteban Ocon behind him, and then Nico Hülkenberg, his best start of, uh, starting position of the season in P3. So that Ferrari looks like it might have uh, might have had a bit of an uptick in performance. Um, it is a checkerboard of Ferrari and Red Bull at the top, though. So let's see what the race has in store. Right, so we're actually starting P7 with Verstappen, as I think Bottas has been given a grid penalty for whatever reason. So P7 for Verstappen, P10 for Alonso. We will do our strategy. So it looks like here... Uh, there's going to be no rain this whole session, at least by our estimation, so that is good. Our options are medium to hard. Um, apparently a two-stop is actually going to be slightly quicker, according to this. So maybe we put maybe we put Verstappen on a two-stop? I don't really know. Is that? It does say that that is the better option, but I'm not really sure. Um, and then, yeah, a, a, a one-stop hard to medium... Is going to be even slower again. Um, hmm. Is a little bit. Do we want to? Do we want to go for a two stop with Verstappen? Do we really want to do that? 
Maybe we do. Maybe we want to give it a try. Um, yeah, screw it. We're going to go for it. We're going to go with a, a one stop for Verstappen. And then maybe we'll put Alonso on the two stop. Just let's just see how that goes. There's not a lot of time between them anyway. So I think we're going to go for that because if I feel like usually the AI start on mediums more than they do start on softs. So yeah, we're just going to, we're going to try for a one stop and see what that does. I've got to remember to put this to aggressive right at the start. I always forget to do this. So let's do that straight away now. There we go. And we're all ready to go for this Miami Grand Prix. Here we go with the Miami Grand Prix. All right, here we go. Miami Grand Prix lights time. Quick lights go. out there. Let's see how we go. So Verstappen is our lead driver at the moment. Going into turn one here. We stay where we are. Alonso is still, he's staying where he is as well. As looks like Hamilton and Leclerc battling it out a bit further back there. Nice to see them having a little battle. Is Leclerc going to get past? Ooh, it's, I think Leclerc actually just stays ahead of uh, of Hamilton. So that's where they started. Verstappen already falling back a little bit from the cars ahead and already under a bit of pressure actually from signs behind. Looking pretty rapid in that RB at the start of this race. Alonso is, yeah, Alonso's in a pretty good place actually. Closer to Bottas than he is to Leclerc. Or well, than Leclerc is to him, should I say. So that's a good start for him. Let's just see how this first lap goes. Looks like Alonso is now fighting with Hamilton. Hamilton was able to get past Leclerc as they go down the back straight here. They head into a couple of the final corners here. I think Alonso is going to stay ahead of Hamilton for now. Yes, he is in a bit of an Alpine sandwich at the moment. Okay, as we can see here, most people are on the medium tires. So Russell, the outlier in the top 10 really, apart from Alonso, on the softs. Um, so that's interesting to see. All right, I've got to go standard on this now because I'm starting to cook the tires a little bit. Verstappen is falling back from the top six quite a bit now, coming under a bit of fire from Sainz. So I think he may, he may get overtaken by Sainz at some point here. Tire wear is looking pretty good at the moment, but that seems to always be how it is. We uh, we start out with good tire wear, and then our tire wear gets worse. Like as we go on, I mean I know that sounds silly, but what I mean is compared to the AI, like. We seem to save our tires more at the start and then use our tires up more at the end. Um, so I expect that's probably what's going to happen here. At the moment, both drivers just staying where they are. Not really, not made any moves actually so far. Um, and Verstappen here yeah, got quite a gap now to the cars ahead. Bit of a sit rep at the front. As you can see, Ocon going for a move on Russell for the lead of this race. Russell on the softs. Ocon, the first driver on the mediums and was not able to quite get past there but i reckon as they get onto this back straight here ocon may have a go with drs he's very close behind there I mean, he's still half a second but pretty close behind there with the drs should help him get right up behind russell and potentially make a move as you can see russell already going defensive as they head down the straight is he gonna be close enough oh, i don't know if he is not quite not quite close enough for ocon this time so he's going to have to stay behind for now. Well, this may be Alonso here going for a move on Sainz, who's fallen behind Bottas. So Alonso trying to get past Sainz in the RB, not quite being able to get... Oh, he's going to try and go for a move side by side through this section. We saw that in real life with Gasly and Ocon uh, in this year in the previous race. And Alonso does make that move, and I think he might... He might get the DRS as well. Bottas has got a better run off the corner though. No, Bottas does have the ERS, the DRS, sorry. So it looks like he's probably going to get back past there. Unless Alonso can keep his nose up the inside. He is going to just about, just about keep it there. Come on, Alonso. Can you make this stick? As they head now down to turn one. Alonso is going to be on the outside, but he now has DRS. As they head into turn one. Come on, Fernando. Come on, make this stick. Yes, I think he's just about done it. Yes, he has. There we go. Alonso now up into P9. Oh, Bottas and Verstappen having a tussle now as well. Bottas managed to try and get up the inside. 
coming off that kind of middle straight sort of section the uh the second drs zone i guess you'd call it and he has got on a head as they head down the back straight but it looks like verstappen's now got the drs so he's going to come back at him down off this corner it looks like he's going to be ahead of bottas by the time they get into this corner so nice defense from verstappen i oh, know hamilton has gotten past alonso we're with lewis hamilton here it's there for the taking goes around the outside as we head into this tricky final sector oh pretty close there hamilton gets past we see here norris going for a move on hulkenberg to try and get into p4 not quite able to get the move done round the final couple of corners there but as they come down to turn one this time norris will have the ers and hulkenberg's not able to go defensive yet norris will steam up the inside of turn one going to be a nice little battle here and they're just about still side by side but norris has gotten ahead of hulkenberg for p4 in this race all right is alonso going to be able to get a move done here i've put deploy on for him to get back ahead of hamilton again um, Hamilton's going very defensive though, really pushing Alonso to the inside as they head down this straight. Oh, was there contact? Was there contact there? There may have been contact. Um, his tyres have just gotten really hot. I'm going to put him on neutral. We might just put him on harvest because he's a bit low there. Is he still trying to get the move done though? Oh, he is. Oh, it's, it's a bit tense. A little bit tense here. Is he going to get past, back past Hamilton? I think Hamilton is quicker. I mean, he's in a quicker car, the Alpine, this season. And he is on the same tyres as us. Tyre wear-wise, we have gotten past him. Uh, pretty much the same on tyre wear. As you can see now, look. Stappen's tyre wear now coming in line with most other people. If not, he's no longer the best on tyre wear. Alonso gets back ahead of Hamilton. However, I do think Hamilton will get back past us. Maybe even right here to be honest and we've got the two mercedes behind as well these are quicker cars they're on the same tires as us they had a bad qualifying so i would kind of expect them to get back past um and sure enough as we head down here hamilton's going to try going around the outside and he's i think he's going to get that done pretty easily uh we might be a bit of a sitting duck here <laughs> yeah so tire wear for verstappen as you can see 68 percent now we're pretty much getting there with the, at least in the top 10 here, with the more worn medium tyres. You know, we're, we're almost, you know, the two Red Bulls a little bit more wear than us. Norris has got better wear than us. So has Ricardo. Um, Hulkenberg's pretty worn. Um, so we're still kind of in that sort of middle of the pack sort of range, but I don't know what they're doing. Oh, we've had a safety car. Oh, what's going on there? Safety car. What is that? Magnuson's crashed. We see what happened. What's Here he done? At turn 11. Oh, he's battling with... Is that with signs? Oh, and a fairly substantial crash there. What did he do there? Did he just... Though, they come away from that unharmed. I don't know about that. He's lost a bit of his front wing. Is he still carrying on, though? And for the crew, I think he just clattered the in inside the wall. That really must have been a hard one to take. That was a very... Very slow crash now. Um, he's out as well. I'm surprised about that. He only broke a bit of his front wing, from what I could tell. Um, however, the safety car is out. So, what do we want to do here? Um, I think we're going to have to go in with Verstappen. We can't go on to the hards yet. It's too early. We may have to go on to... Let's have a look here. What can we do? I mean, we're going to pit Alonso as well. Probably onto the mediums. We're a bit early, but... We can make something work with that. Um, whereas with Verstappen, so what have we got? We've got one new set of softs. We've got quite a few sets that are reasonably fine. 92%, that's not too bad. Uh, we've got the hards to go on to. I'm thinking maybe we go... Uh, maybe we go hard, then soft at the end. Maybe? Or do we want to go soft, then hard at the end? Um, maybe. All right, I've decided we're going to go for hards. Hards this lap for Verstappen. And we'll, we'll probably go mediums for Alonso. So it's going to be a double stack, but I think we should have enough time to not have too big of an issue here. Verstappen's in. It is going to be a safety car. It is going to be, we well, know it's a safety car. It is going to be a double stack here. We're going to lose probably a bit of time with Alonso. Where is he? Okay. 
bit slow here. Why are we waiting? What are we waiting for? Oh, is that just delayed because of all the drivers? I think that was just because of all the pit stop issue. Let's have a look. What is it going to tell us? Pit crew are all ready. However, they can't seem to jack the car up. Can't jack the car up. Well, they've. I think we were just waiting for. I think we were just waiting for other people. All right. So a lot of other people on the hards. The other medium tire runners mostly have gone onto the hards. So I think we've done a good, a good strategy in that regard. Um, Russell on the medium. So same sort of, same sort of thing for um, for Alonso as well there. So okay, that's that's worked out okay. Right. The safety car is in this lap. Let's get ready to go. We're going to attack. We're going to go push on the fuel. And we're going to deploy with Verstappen. And we're going to do the same with Alonso as well. We might as well. Plenty of fuel to burn now with that safety car. We haven't lost any positions. P7 and P10 still. Bottas has lost positions. I guess because of his double stack. Okay. Let's see what happens here. So Ocon leads the way. P7 for Verstappen, P10 for Alonso. Okay, what does this restart have in store? Let's see. All right, here goes Hamilton on Verstappen. He is getting overtaken. Uh, tires are heating up very much for Alonso. Well, for both really, but mainly for Alonso there. And it looks like Hamilton is going to get through on on Verstappen, but that's fine. Different strategies going on here. That is fine. Still quite the battle going on at the front here. Russell trying to get past Ocon. Of course, Russell has won uh, both races so far this season. This is, of course, round three. So can Russell make it three for three at the moment? He's doing what he needs to do, getting himself up into first place once again. Oh, Leclerc has overtaken Verstappen. And it was involving Leclerc that was going to happen eventually. Same strategy, but Mercedes is quite a bit quicker than the Haas, as you would imagine. And of course, Leclerc is a top driver. There he goes, past Verstappen. And as a result, eighth place is theirs. And I think Bottas, yep, uh, sorry, Perez has gotten past Alonso as well. And actually, oh, Verstappen looking back at, oh no, is that, no, sorry, that's Alonso looking at Perez in front, but unfortunately not able to make anything work there. Um, and he, he'll be too far back, I imagine, going into turn one to go for a move back on Perez. So Alonso's out of the points, but once again, different strategies. Perez is actually on soft tyres, I only just realised. So that's why he's pretty rapid. So that, that does make sense. Can Alonso make a move back on Perez here? Heading down into this corner. He's having a look. He's having a look, but he's not quite going for it. But I do wonder. He may make a move down the back straight here, though, because he's very close behind. With the assistive DRS, here he goes. Down we go. DRS wing enabled. The wing is open. He is not quite, not quite going to make that move. Will he try and make a move to turn one? I don't think he will. Let's just have a look. Nah, nah, he's stuck behind. Looks like Verstappen though. Verstappen fighting with Leclerc now, trying to get that position back. So he's still putting in a good fight here. As they're side by side through this first sector. Great racing between these two, of course. Plenty of good racing with them in real life, especially in 2022. Red Bull versus Ferrari. This time, though, it's Haas versus Mercedes, and Verstappen comes out on top, although Leclerc is now going to have the DRS as we head down this section. There he goes. He's looking for a move. Verstappen's going defensive. Leclerc's going to have to go to the outside. Oh, but Leclerc, Verstappen shuts the door and stays ahead. Oh, trying to go for a move on Perez there, but uh, Verstappen, uh, sorry, Alonso's run out of DRS, ERS, uh, although he's still going to try and get the move as I flick it to Harvest for a lap. So you might still be able to get through here. I do feel like Perez's tyres probably going off a bit there. 56% on the softs. Uh, and Alonso does get past for now, but I, I think he's going to get overtaken again pretty quickly. Battle at the front here. Rage is on. Russell and Arcon still toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Norris not far behind these guys now as well. 
believe he's on the soft tires, isn't he? So he's pretty rapid at the moment. Um, I, I'd say these guys are probably going to come in again. I mean, the hards could get to the end here by our strategy, so that could be the same for Ocon as well. Russell definitely going to have to come in again. Alonso definitely going to have to come in again. But the hard tire runners could maybe push it to the end, although it is going to be quite a push. So I think I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to wait out um, to see what happens there. And Russell's actually pushed a bit of a pulled a bit of a gap now to Ocon, so he's going to be safe for another lap in the lead. Oh no, somebody's crashed. We've got a yellow flag. Oh, what's happened? What has happened? Our guys aren't involved, thankfully. It is Gasly and Piastri. Piastri seems to always get himself into scrapes, doesn't he? Not much of a... Is that it? Was that really the crash? That was it? <laughs> I mean, they barely even made contact. And just like that, the hopes of the team start to dwindle. Barely even make contact there. I don't know what that was about. Wasn't even worth... Was it even worth a replay? I think they're both fine. No damage. No damage that I could see from either car. Barely even touched. Piastri's now got a penalty because of it though, so... Okay. Oh no! Alonso! He just got past... He just got past Perez. And he's locked up and gone straight on. Oh. No, Alonso. What have you done? A uh, little bit too much push there, I think. The tire's getting a bit too hot. Lonzo, he just he just got past Perez, and then locked up into turn one. Stappen going for a move on Hamilton now. I got him to push a little bit to catch up to him. We've now got Harvest on while we're in the DRS, but he's actually already going for a move. Not quite able to make it there. Is he going to try and go for a move? Oh, he thought about it. He thought about it there. Very risky place to try and go for a move there, uh, but he, he doesn't doesn't quite go for it in the end which is good because that was a bit too risky for my liking we'll go neutral again see if he can catch him down this straight all right we've updated Alonso's strategy because as you can see he's taken a big hit out of these medium tires so we're going to go on to our our other set of softs I could have gone to the hard but I think I'm going to stick it out with the softs uh, but we're coming in a few laps earlier onto those because um yeah, I don't think it's, he's really taken a dip out of those tyres there with that lockup. Alright, you know what? I've made the call. We're going to change it up. We're going to go hards for for Alonso. We're going to pit this lap because these tyres after that lockup just not hanging on. We're really, really struggling. Um, Bottas okay. is right behind us. He's probably going to get past us here. So we're going to go into the hards for Alonso. Just see if we can get anything out of that. Let's make it a good pit stop team. Onto a set of hards, brand new set of hards, 2.851, not bad, not a bad pit stop there. Come out just ahead of Joe. Alright, let's see what we can do here, let's put him on aggressive straight away. Joe's going to be quick on those warmed up tyres. We're all the way down in P16 now, but um, we were going to have to come in anyway, and I think this was the better alternative. All right, Stroll's come in for a set of softs right at the end. What is this happen? Just, oh, Norris gets what? Yeah, that's fine. Norris had just come in for another set anyway. Um, Stroll, I thought, was on the same strategy as us. So I'm looking out for what really like Ocon and Hulkenberg and Ricardo do. Ocon is into the pits. Ooh, okay. Right, so Ocon's into the pits. So that means these guys are going on to a final set. So I'm going to say they're probably going on to a set of softs. So do we do that for Maxwell? We have got a brand new set of soft tyres. They will apparently do 34 laps. We've got 48, 19 laps to go. So I think that's what we got to do. We've got to bring Verstappen in for a set of softs. Let's just confirm here. Yes, they are. Ocon is going on to softs. So I think this is the way to go. Sticking it out on the hards. Maybe a little bit too ambitious. Let's make it a good stop again, team for Max Verstappen. Onto the softs. 3.096. Not amazing, but not terrible. Looks like Verstappen are going to try and get past Signs here. Looks like I think Signs got past him just in that pit stop phase, just kind of coming out of the pits because I had a message come up. But ooh, almost contact around that corner. But yeah, Verstappen much much quicker on these fresh softs than Heinz. Uh, signs on the fresh hards. 
of not so fresh hearts, should I say. Stappen now right up behind Bottas. So can he make a move on Bottas as we head down this main straight? He's very close behind. We're on much fresher tyres than Bottas as well. Norris sets the fastest lap of the race. Looks like, I'm not sure if Hulkenberg's come into the pits. I think he's just been overtaken by Norris. So it's now an Aston Martin 1-2 as Verstappen goes up the inside of Bottas. There we go, and I think Bottas is coming into the pits anyway. But um, yeah, another position for Verstappen. And yes, I think, I don't know, I feel like maybe either the Ricardo and Hulkenberg are trying to go for go crazy at the end uh, very quickly on a set of softs on the freshest tyres or they're going to try and get to the end on hards but what it does mean is that Lando Norris has now overtaken his teammate for the lead of this race can Lando Norris win his first race in Formula 1 at the Miami Grand Prix like he did in real life in the McLaren this is a bit tense though side by side with I think that was uh was that Sargent or is that Albon I don't know car being overtaken that is Sargent um yeah, a little bit tense there, but Norris leading the way. All right, we may be seeing an overtake for Alonso here on signs, which will be for P11. So Alonso pretty close to the points now. Hulkenberg is coming into the pits, and it looks like not a good pit stop either. They're having issues with the car, massive issues for Hulkenberg. His podium chances may be gone. Um, his first podium in the sport may be gone, um, and Alonso not quite able oh I don't know if there's a bit of contact there there's definitely sparks flying and signs comes into the pits anyway so Alonso gets past him I don't think he's going to get past Hulkenberg no he isn't so P11 at the moment for Alonso oh no Alonso's going backwards here Bottas has now overtaken him as well hmm. this may be a pointless race for Alonso unfortunately um Oh, very, very tight there. Bottas round the outside, though, Bottas has the grip. The and he's ahead. Oh, now Verstappen's under fire from Leclerc as well. So, yeah, because it says Verstappen overtakes Leclerc, but Leclerc was actually overtaking Verstappen. Alonso's, Alonso's um, confidence not great at the moment. I don't really blame him. Uh, Max is, is pretty good. But he may be overtaken here. I think we've got to push a bit more on these tyres. Just to try and do anything we can. Let's put Alonso on attack for a bit. Just because he's got plenty of tyre life with those hards. Let's just see what he can pump in. With a couple of laps on the hards here. Just full out attacking. Back to standard. Because he's pretty hot now. And he has caught back up to Alonso with that. Okay. He's gone, gone pretty quick. So he has now caught back up to Bottas. I mean, Perez is 13 and a half seconds up the road from Bottas. So we're not we're not scoring points this race unless something crazy happens. But um, can we at least get up into P11? Not at this point. Verstappen also actually catching up to Hamilton here. He's broken the DRS from Leclerc. And he's now almost within DRS of Hamilton. So having to go a bit careful on the tires because we are getting down towards that 40% sort of mark on the tires here but um Verstappen still still in the hunt here for some more points Alonso has gotten past Bottas let's have a look Alonso at this, this down into turn one they decide to give it a go there he goes still side by side the points in touching distance now they're 11. and he make it I think he does yes he does all right, here goes Verstappen as Russell starts the final lap of this race. Can Verstappen get past Hamilton? And uh, he's making him go defensive. That is a good sign. That is a good sign. I think it might be a bit much to get him here, though. Not been seeing the most moves down off this corner. Oh, he tries to break later, but not quite able to make that work there. And he's going to have to try and do it on the final lap if he's going to take P6. Got to be careful on fuel here as well, actually. A little bit worried about fuel. Alonso gets back past Bottas. That's good. Don't know if he'll be able to stay ahead. I'm a bit worried about the fuel for Verstappen now. Can he please? We're at zero. We're at zero. Can we please? Can we go balance? We're not going to get past Hamilton. Can we stay ahead of, of Leclerc, though? 
here we go oh looks like hulkenberg's trying to make the move on the clear please get to the end oh we're gonna run out of fuel with alonso i didn't i didn't realize we're gonna run out of fuel with alonso god i mean he's not gonna score anyway just uh okay this happened did cross the line alonso's gonna run out of bloody fuel isn't he yeah he did oh oh my god he ran out of fuel he's not gonna finish we're not we're not scoring points anyway with alonso but that's actually the second time that's happened because I had that happen in my Ferrari career mode as well that I'm just doing off camera um, because I do not pay attention to the fuel at the end if I put them on push and that's what's happened with Alonso he's literally stopped around the final corner here um, he's literally right there at the final corner but oh well he wasn't scoring points anyway it was P11 maybe even P12 and um, yep it is a P7 for Verstappen as you can see he's also run out of fuel <laughs> But um, he's at least got over the line, so it doesn't matter. Right now, it's the British driver who proudly takes his place on the podium. A third win of the season has to leave them and the team feeling confident. And after a hot and sweaty Miami Grand Prix, I think this is as good a time as any to cool off. Oh, what a disappointment. What a disappointment for Alonso. Did not finish in the end because I went too far with the fuel. That's what happens when I, I push the fuel at the end and then I just don't pay attention. Um, but like I said, he was in P... I guess he was in P11, wasn't he? So we were going to finish P11, probably, maybe even P12, because Bottas was rapid on us at the end. Um, so we weren't scoring points anyway, so at least that is... That at least makes me somewhat happy, um, or not that bothered about it at least. And Verstappen still scores six points with P7, so that's not too bad. Russell wins again, so that's now three for three for George Russell. And he is considerably leading this championship. Stroll is in second. It was a good race from Norris there. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't quite get the win, but um, yeah, good race nonetheless. And yeah, one DNF for Alonso now just because of that one issue which is a bit unfortunate and constructors yep Ferrari leading we are down in fifth so not too bad not too bad for Haas down there and yep all that sort of stuff all this there we go there's our pit stops not the best pit stops had a very slow one there for Alonso that probably cost us some points anyway even if we you know even if we didn't stuff up the fuel probably would have scored points maybe Although we were a fair way behind, weren't we, in the end? So, I don't know. It was the lockup as well from Alonso. It was just wasn't Alonso's day, unfortunately. But um, there we have it. That was the Miami Grand Prix. Next time, I can't remember where we're going next. Let's have a look. Skip through, continue, get through to the main page, see where we're going next. Uh, side pods manufactured, that's good. Or designed, whatever that was. Bahrain, okay, we're going to Bahrain next. So first night race of the season. May it be the only night race, actually. And, um, yep, we'll get doing that next time. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.